Hi, I'm Lord Tony, and welcome back to hacking the crap out of Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue. Well, my overarching goal is to create a ROM hack where I put all of the content that's exclusive to the white version of this game into the blue version of the game and make a, uh, a light blue version of Mega Man Battle Network 3 where all of the content is available in one cart. And so my next step in doing that, now that I've added Mistman into the game, is to try and get Nav Recycle into the game or try to restore all of the white exclusive Giga Chips. So in this game, this guy right here in the undernet, he will sell you, uh, he will sell you folder back in the blue version of the game, and in the white version of the game, he'll sell you nav recycle. And you can't get them both in the same game, and you can't even trade your friends for giga chips. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this guy sell me both nav recycle and folder back in order to. Uh, in order to have a complete version. The problem is, I bought all his chips already, so we're gonna have to figure out how this goes. So, uh, digging around in his conversation logs, somehow, you know, I don't even remember how I found this address, but I found a memory address where, uh, where it's trying to read from. I think I followed his chat logs, and I found out it was reading a bunch of these zeros. And because it was zeros, it took one branch. So if these aren't zeros, I imagine uh, he'll give us a different conversation. Well, one thing I found out is if I reset the game and watch this RAM, I get a bunch of non-zero data in there. And then it turns to zero right when we get to the start screen. So I'm gonna reset it, then I'm gonna copy all that data out of there, and then I'm gonna paste it after it zeroes it out. I bet this is, yeah, here we go. This gets us back all of the chips that we have already bought from him, including the folder back. So what this tells me about the game is that, uh, you know, the, the, the state of your shop is uh, all handled in RAM. So when you, when you buy an item from him, it just gets like taken out of here. And looking on the Rockman EXE zone, this guy I mentioned in my last video, Prof9, he's actually talked about uh, this each 8-byte entry, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, this corresponds to one item he's selling in the shop. And that makes sense, because we see uh, we've got 6 items in the shop. So it looks like 6 items until we hit some zeros. Alright, perfect. So it looks like these correspond to those items. So what I'd like to do to narrow this down is I'm just going to put folder back in here. If I copy folder back, that last one out of the six, and then I zero everything else out. Back out of here. Come back in here. Okay, perfect. There. We've got folder back in the shop. So it should be as simple as just finding where nav recycle is and then creating a shop entry for nav recycle and then buying it from him. And that'll add that to the game. So I thought if uh, if folder back is zero uh, one two f, which the notes from Professor Nine say that uh, that is exactly what it is. It looks like this is a the first byte is two. Oh, first byte is two. Okay, the amount is one, so you're only allowed to buy one of them from the shop. Then the ne then you got sixteen bits, which is two bytes. So. This will be the program code, so 012F, and then the chip color is this next one, 1A, which happens to be a star. Let's test that out. The so 1A, let's make it into B, which should be 01. That'll be, so if I leave here, it should say folder back B. Okay, yeah, so the, he is correct. Changing this byte right here is the, what was it, 1A was the star? And C8, whatever, what, what even is that? Oh, that's the price. So C8 is 200 in bug frags. Okay, cool. So that's everything he said it was. So now what I want to do is I want to try to just edit this and make it into nav recycle. So I figure, well, let's, uh, maybe it's the one right before, right after. So let's change this to, you know, 012E and see what we get, see what we get from there. Oh, we get Delta Ray, which is another giga chip. Okay, that's cool. So let's try the next direction. Let's try to do 0, 01. Oh, oops. Uh, 0, 0130. So we leave that. We come back in here, and oh no, what is this? We get blank. What's going on here? Well, after fiddling around with it, I found out that this is another anti-hack mechanism. 
Capcom put in. They do not want you to be able to use a Game Shark to make yourself buy white only uh, chips in the blue version of the game. They have these anti hack techniques all over the place, and this is just one of them. So, what I did is I put a breakpoint uh, whenever this place in, place in memory was read, and I just came in and out of this, this menu, and I found uh, what the difference is between, um, uh, between 02F, which is folder back, and 030, I mean, 130, which is nav recycle, the one I want. It turns out that both of them read from a list and compare the value that they're trying to put into the shop. So this list right here, let's take a look at it, is 130, 131, 133, 134, 137, and 132. This is the no-no list, where even if the RAM says, hey, put this item in the shop, this other place in RAM, if it matches, it still won't put it in the shop. So, we can just change this to something like all zeros, and then all of a sudden we have bypassed the anti cheat and we've added nav recycle to the shop. So, let's give this a shot. Let's see what it is. So, I just bought nav recycle from this shop. We look in our chip folder. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and throw nav recycle in here, and let's try it out in a version of Mega Man Battle Network Blue. Okay, that's interesting. That is not what nav recycle looks like. Uh, the description's right. It recalls the last navi used, but the uh, screen picture, like that, that picture is wrong. And I looked into the, looked into the data of that and found that... Uh, they, they actually took the graphic out of the game. There is no graphic for nav recycle uh, in the game anywhere. But uh, let's, uh, let's fiddle around here. Let's get into a battle and use nav recycle, because I'm sure this, this may be the first recorded version that you've seen of someone using nav recycle in this, uh, in this particular version of the game. So, okay, let's, uh, let's add this junk back in. <sighs> When you can't, I, I guess I could have just, you know, edited the chip a little bit. Okay, none of these are nav recycle. I'll use this and this and this and this. I guess I need to use a navi too. Oh, all of my navis hit the full screen. I'm not actually going to be able to use nav recycle. Ah, you're going to have to trust me. Nav recycle actually works. Uh, but there's an interesting piece of this. So when I bought nav recycle. Uh, here in my gigachip folder, you see that I have five gigachips, and I even have like a blank space down here because it knows that I have five of them, but uh, folder back has completely disappeared. So we can't seem to have folder back and nav recycle in the same game. I looked up what that is all about too, so let's go to the folder back data. Uh, so I found this in memory where the folder back data is. And I did that with the, uh, uh, with the help of another thread in the Rockman Zone. This is the chip hacking section. Uh, and what this is all about is th these bytes right here represent the chip data for folder back, and these bytes right here represent the folder data for nav recycle. And the problem is, is that these two bytes on here and here uh, this is the place in your library that that chip shows up in. That's the order of the library. Because the game never expected both of these chips to exist at the same time, they take up the exact same spot in the library. So it puts folder back in the library and then writes right over it with nav recycle. So we could just easily change this to like, you know, 0, you know, 120 and back out, come back in and we get folder back and nav recycle both showing up here at the same time. The problem is, is that there's another giga chip that's 120, so now I just kicked this can down the road for that giga chip. And you'll see that there's a few of these other ones, like 122, that must be a blue exclusive one, and then this one that's 122, that's probably a white exclusive chip. So the solution I came up with is noticing that there's four pages, it turns out that if you just make the number really low or really high, it'll end up on the gigachip page because it's a gigachip, and uh, that is right 
Hmm, where is the Giga chip? Yeah, I think 82. You see, if you see, uh, you see 82 is this chip, that means it's a, it's a Giga. So that 82 makes it land on this page, but then the spot on that page is determined by that, uh, that 120 there. So I'm going to change this to, say, a 00FF, and then back out and back, back in. And now NavRecycle is before, it has a lower number than any of the other, uh, any of the other Giga chips. So I can get this one from white and blue here. And I happen to know that FF is actually the Mega Chip for Plant Man V4. So Plant Man V4, as you see, with his ordering of FF, because it's on a different page, I'm not overwriting it. So by doing that, I fix the library issue. That's not much of a problem, though. So uh, what, what other fun things can we do here? Like, this is the chip data here. Let's, uh, let's go find Plant Man. What, what, what was Plant Man? FF. Ah, I don't even remember. Actually, you know, I don't have to remember. I've got the internet here. So I've got a list of all of the chips that someone has posted online. Uh, Zeta boards, that wasn't it. I think he had a paste bin. There we go. Let's, uh, let's screw with the power of one of our guys. Uh, Plant Man. Okay, so... Plant Man... Plant Man V4. There's his offset. So we want to go to 13.4 F0. Let's go there. 13.6. Scroll up till we hit 13.4 F0. And you are Plant Man V4. Well, this right here, this number, uh, all two bytes of it are the damage of the chip. So if you want to be a cheapo and make your chips do stupid amount of damage, I'm going to go ahead and make Plant Man do, uh, do a ridiculous amount of damage. All the versions of Plant Man. And I got tons of him in my uh, card folder. So let's, ch let's, let's check out how Plant Man's looking these days. So Plant Man now does 256 damage per hit. Uh, 256 damage per hit. All right, wonderful. I've changed it, and let's kill somebody with Plant Man, or maybe try a Nav Recycle inversion of uh, inversion blue again. Give this a shot. This is really what you want, huh? You want to be able to hack all these chips together. Come on, give me a Plant Man. Of course it doesn't. All right, well, uh, let's just let's just make do without it. All right, plant the beefy plant man with his 256. I guess that makes it. Yeah, he, he's basically gonna do like 1,800 damage or something. I don't know how many ticks he does. I think it's four originally, or yeah, four for the original hit, and then like three more ticks per. If as if plant man wasn't overpowered enough already, but that's it. We are able to uh, get nav recycle into the game. And I believe next time that we uh, we meet up, we will look at the graphics editing because I want to add the graphics back into NavRecycle so that way I don't have to look at this weird placeholder graphic. Let's look at that again. There he is. So with this, I'm going to attempt to put all of the Giga chips into this version of Mega Man Battle Network Blue. ROM hack, win. Who knows? But I've been Lord Tony. I'll see you next time, Hack.